friends, it is once again time for us to update to the new version of Minecraft for the SMP server 1.19.1 um, and I'm just going to quickly make this quick video to show you how and what you should do to get 1.19.1 up and running for yourselves. So you are going to need, I'm just going to create a quick text file, um, I'm just going to open it up real quick you are going to need a direct download link to the 1.19.1 Minecraft instance that I publish um, or just a zip file um, whatever you want to do works but this is what I generally do is I, I have my direct download link to the, the Minecraft uh, instance the same steps can basically be followed for um, the pixelmon mod pack that we're doing as well so that is the link for the plat pack that I made for pixelmon um, and you won't have to copy over the Java file path for this because this is a 1.16.1 mod pack so it or 1.16.5 my bad um, and that still uses the original Java 8, so just the default Java instance will work. But with this, the new 1.19.1, it uses the same version of Java that you that 1.18.1 uses. So we're just going to copy the file path from that. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. You're going to press Add Instance, and you're going to go over to Import from Zip, and you're going to paste in whatever link you desire. And here you can assign it to a group if you manage your multi-MC similarly to how I do with different folders like my fabric, fabric instances, modded instances, vanilla, or VR instances of the Minecraft. And then once your link is pasted in here or you have browsed to whatever zip file contains your version of Minecraft, your Minecraft instance, you're just going to hit OK and it is going to install itself kind of like this. So here is the new instance, Fabric 1.19.1. And one thing you're going to want to do is make sure it has all the servers that you had from your 1.18.1 server instance. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Fabric 1.18.1 or whatever instance you wanted to grab your servers from, open the Minecraft folder, which opens as a .minecraft folder like this. Um, Mac, it's pretty much the same process, so you can follow along as well. It's going to look different because you guys have a Finder instead of File Explorer, but it's really all the same. Um, and you are going to also need to open the Minecraft folder for your new instance, Fabric 1.19.1 and it's going to look like this. You're going to scroll down and for for servers that you want to copy over you're going to want to look at servers.dat. Uh, you don't really need to copy the dat old but I do just to be safe rather than sorry. You just drag it over and move or well I, I wouldn't want to move it because I'd want my Fabric 1.18.1 instance to still work so I'm going to right click and press copy and then just press paste over here in the new folder. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but that is how you do it. So it would show up right here once it's copied over. For your settings, um, like key bindings, etc., um, video settings, you want to copy over options.txt and optionsof.txt into your new Minecraft folder um, and that that takes care of that if you wanted to save any single player worlds and move them into your 1.19.1 uh, instance you're going to want to go to your 1.18.1 instance or whatever instance you're porting from and you're going to click on the saves folder the saves folder holds all of the world folders for Minecraft and you're going to want to do the same in your 1.19.1 folder, .minecraft folder, and it'll pull up your, your saves folder. And you're just going to want to like copy whatever world, so let's say 
season 11 right here. I'm just going to copy it over and press paste. And bada bing, bada boom, it's copying. I'm going to cancel that because I don't need to. But that's essentially what it would look like. Now, for 1.19.1, like I said, we are going to need to upgrade the, or specify the Java path for Minecraft. Because um, Minecraft runs in a Java virtual machine, so it points to uh, the Java program and then launches Java and then runs Minecraft inside of Java. So how we do that is we're going to press edit instance in multi-mc on fabric 1.18.1. Oh, okay. And it's going to open up the, the window for this instance of Minecraft and you're going to click on settings. Now this right here, Java installation, this is the path to the version of Java that we are wanting to run. Um, for um, for newer version, for people who have most recently installed Minecraft before the the switch to Minecraft happened, um, this this installation path is going to look slightly differently in that it points to the the Microsoft Windows Store folder um and then the new Minecraft launcher inside of it but it's still going to resolve to java runtime beta slash bin slash java w.exe or something something like this all right um but this this first part is is gonna look different because i've been using the same lawn minecraft launcher since before microsoft bought um bought mojang and moved their minecraft launcher into the windows store um and obviously for Mac, your file path is going to look slightly different because you guys use a different operating system entirely, but it's still going to resolve to a similar java.w.exe or something along the lines of that. Uh, it wouldn't be .exe for Mac. It, I don't know exactly what it resolves to, but if you want to see more information on how to get this, it, this path, um, I recommend going and checking out my old tutorial. I'll link it in the description. Anyhow, tangent aside, we're going to copy this file path, and we're going to go over to Fabric 1.19.1, and we're going to edit the instance of that. We're going to go into the settings, and we're going to paste in that file path right here. And then it's pointing to the correct version of Java. You can test it. And it'll say Java version reported 17.0.1, but 17 is what matters. And then you can press OK. This you don't need to open anymore. And once it's all saved, well, there's it. Multi MC just saves it on its own. You don't have to like press the save button. You just launch Minecraft, and you are completely set up and ready to go. Um, and you'll have all of your servers and all of your world saves that you want and also your settings should be pretty much the same um, of course if there's like for these fabric instances it's technically modded minecraft so some of my if you know mod differences between the two versions that I have where maybe I removed a mod or added a new mod Things are going to change slightly, but in the heart of hearts of it, it's going to stay the same. Your run's still going to be the same. Your shift, your crouch, your, your your run, your crouch, your drop, your inventory buttons, all of those will stay the same. Um, so that is, that is the update process for 1.19.1, a quick short 10 minute video for you there. Um, so thank you for watching. Have a good one.